Hello. In this video, we're going to find the equation of the right bisector of AB, where A is negative 5, 6, and B is 9, 10. So before we do anything, I'm going to jump onto a couple words here. The first word that jumps out is equation. So that means I want some sort of equation, and an equation of the right bisector. So another word is bisector that jumps out, and right. So the equation of the right bisector is going to be in the form y equals mx plus b. So this problem essentially comes down to finding m and finding b. So a right bisector is a line that cuts a line segment in half and it intersects at a 90 degree angle. So with these types of problems, the first thing we always want to do is draw a picture. And I've seen a lot of students that tend not to draw the picture. This picture doesn't have to be detailed or scaled or it's just a rough sketch, but what it will do is give me some clues as far as um, hints to help me check if my answer is partially correct. So the first point A is negative 5, 6, which let's say is about here, negative 5, 6. And B is 9, 10, which let's say is over here somewhere. And it's a line segment, so I'm going to connect that line. So we're interested in the right bisector. So we're looking for the line that crosses this, this that chops this line segment in a half and intersects at a 90 degree angle. So we've taken a quick moment here and drawn a picture, and there's a number of things that we can, we can conclude from this picture. This picture tells us all, is a, all sorts of things. The first thing is that, looking at this, the midpoint, x is probably going to be greater than 0 and y is probably going to be greater than 0. Unless my sketch is way off, but I get the feeling based on this it's going to be. Also, my slope is going to be negative, and my y-intercept is going to be positive, right? Because you can see it kind of extends up here. So all these things and that I kind of look at the picture and observe, I'm going to go back at the end and check to see if my my problem matches those assumptions. And if it doesn't, I'll figure out why. So what we want to do is we want to figure out the equation of this line here. I'm going to put another point on here. And I'm going to call this midpoint M, and I'm going to call this point D. So I can talk about this as line MD. So the first step is I want to find that, that midpoint, because I know that midpoint is going to be on this line. So the midpoint, m, well, we're going to use our formula, x1 plus x2 over 2, which, as one student pointed out, is the mean of the x values. And the y1 plus y2 is the mean of the y values. So the midpoint is going to be negative 5 plus 9 over 2. And it's going to be 6 plus 10 over 2, and therefore the midpoint is going to be 4 over 2, 16 over 2, so the midpoint is 2, 8, which based on my diagram looks pretty good. So I now have one point on, on the line MD, which is the point 2, 8. So since line MD intersects line a, B at a 90 degree angle, that means that the slope of MD is equal to the negative reciprocal of the slope of AB. So let's find the slope of AB. The slope of AB is going to be rise. So the rise is going to be Y2 minus Y1. So we're going to say 10 minus 6 over the run. And the run is going to be x2 minus x1. So it's going to be 9 minus minus 5. So 10 minus 6 is going to leave me with 4. And 9 minus minus 5 is going to leave me with 14. And so now when I look at this line segment here, I feel good because I can see this should be a positive line segment. So therefore, the slope of MD, which is the, the right bisector, is going to be negative 1 over 4 over 14, which is negative 14 over 4. And 
just to make this a little easier, let's reduce that to negative 7 over 2. So that's perfect. I now have my m value for my equation. So I have to find the b value. So if we take a second, well, we know now the following. We know that, that our equation is y equals negative 7 over 2x plus b. So I need to find the b value. And I do that by picking a point that's on the line and substituting in and solving. And we know that the point 28 is on the right bisector, so I'm going to sub in the point 28. So 8 is equal to negative 7 over 2 times 2 plus b. So 8 is equal to negative 7 plus b. So 15 is equal to b. Therefore, the equation of the right bisector is y equals negative 7 over 2x plus 15. And I do a quick check. The slope is negative, perfect. The y-intercept is positive, spectacular. And I feel pretty good about this. I hope this video helped.